If you want to be more productive, you've got to have a good relationship with your productivity tools. So let me explain what I mean. Do you use an alarm and is it effective? Or whenever an alarm goes off, you just click snooze, snooze, snooze until you have to get finally get up. Well, that means you have a bad relationship with your alarm and you can actually practice a better relationship with your alarm so that the next time your alarm goes off, you actually instinctively get up. Now, here's what I mean, literally, like practice uh, setting an alarm for two minutes from now, okay? Two minutes from now, and then lay down, okay? Put your alarm next to you, lay down, and when the alarm goes off in two minutes, get up immediately. Just you know, move your body and get up, right? And do that three times, and you will have transformed your relationship with your alarm. Make sense? Um, and because this is muscle memory. But of course, the relationship, just like any relationship, requires maintenance. And so just remember that whenever you snooze and ignore your alarm, you are eroding the relationship with your alarm. And when you decide to get up, you are building that relationship again. But practice as many times as you need to. Again, set the alarm for two minutes, lay down. When it goes off, spring back up and do that three, four, five times. And you may need to practice this every day. Again, six minutes, right? Or seven minutes, whatever it takes. But this makes such a big difference with your relationship with your alarm. Now, another productivity tool is uh, your to-do list. Your to-do list is something that you may be used to just adding stuff to and not actually doing the stuff on there. So you may have this backlog and you just have this terrible relationship with your to-do list. So what you can do to practice is to start a brand new to-do list and today or tomorrow add only three items to that to-do list that are quite doable. Just add three really doable things using that productivity tool, the to-do list. And then do all three things. Check them all off as you do them, okay? The next day, practice it again. Just three really doable things. Check them off as you do them. And then the next day, again, you know, you, you need to practice three times. Three is a good number to practice to start getting into the instinct of a better relationship with that productivity tool. So just to give you an example, um, I used to have a terrible relationship with my alarm. I, just like most people do, they just keep snoozing, snoozing, snoozing. But now that I practice it several times, I have this instinctual, and I maintain that relationship, I have this instinctual getting up whenever the alarm sounds. It just, the body muscle memory just springs me up without having to use much willpower at all, if any. And then the same thing with, with my to-do list. I have a great relationship with it. I clear it every single day, all the way to the, to the end of it. Sometimes I have you know, more than a dozen items on there, but I will always clear it at the end of the day, whether it's completing it or deleting it, which you're allowed to do, by the way. You're allowed to delete an item on your to-do list and, or to postpone it for another day, okay? which is perfectly allowable as well. And then the third tool that we commonly use and abuse is our calendar. Right? You may schedule to do something for yourself and then you don't do it. You let someone else dictate your calendar, your agenda, etc. Again, practice by maybe you have to create a new calendar, uh, you know, start brand new with a new calendar and then just add tomorrow, add you know, one or two items on your calendar when you're going to do what, okay? And then when that time comes, no, just get ready for it and when that time comes, go ahead and do it, right? And that is building your muscle memory of, oh, when the calendar tells me to do something, I'm gonna do it. And therefore, you will be much smarter and wiser about what to put on your calendar if you actually do the items you put there. So I hope this is helpful. It's about building and maintaining a better relationship with your productivity tools so that you can actually use them to be more productive.